Hello HP Touchpad users, great news. Developer JC Solens has been at it again with his latest unofficial nightly sort of preview number four. Here you can check out all the information in the Roots Wiki forum. I update it regularly. You've got all the information, all the install information, all the updates, all the downloads, absolutely everything right here. Check it out. Now let's go over a few of the changes and updates in this latest preview number four. Uh, first off, performance is a little perkier at 400 points gain and a 2-2 benchmark. Uh, what's really great about this build is that we have all the 4.2 G apps features working. It's really great. I have a light version of this you want to download for HP touchpad users. It's only 97 megabytes. It's a minimized version with a few unneeded things taken out like face lock, uh, extra ringtones, took out the 4.2 launcher because it was just enormously large. And I basically kept all the good stuff that was working here on the HP touchpad. So something that's working pretty much everything voice related. Google now works perfectly now. HP touchpad, please. HP touchpad please and thank you. Just one feature that's working great again, but we can also record audio as well. That's working. Big thank you to JC Sullins for putting this out there. This is working great. Big thank you to JC Sullins for putting this out there. This is working great. As you can see, all the voice related stuff is running just great. It also works in our locational services. New voice searches. Fairview. And find our destinations. Very nice to have all these features working. Let's see if I can't show you one more here while we're in this menu. We're going to go down to the street. Now the uh, magnetometer is working, so uh, we can also use the compass feature. See here in the upper right corner, you click on the three dots, and compass mode will work. So we can tilt back and forth while we're street viewing, and it moves around on the street for us, pans around. Kind of hard to show on the touchpad here, but it's fun for you to try out there at home. Something to check out. Another fixed feature by JC Sullins on the HP touchpad. So far, it's been running great. Uh, now, one thing I'd highly recommend about my GFs package is that it's small in size because we need to save space. Now, what we use the Acme Installer 3 for was to give us a little extra space on our partition coming from Ice Cream Sandwich. We only had 300 megabytes, and we gain up to 100 megabytes when we install with the Acme Installer 3. We only need to do it one time. But you can see here, uh, my system storage is that space, and it holds my GApps and my ROM. So I have 65.99 megs free, so I've got about 66 megs free. Uh, anywhere from 40 to 50 would be absolutely excellent, so I highly recommend getting my smaller package. And you can see everything here working quite well. One last thing to show you is the WebOS style card switching mod. Now you can check this out. I have a video explaining how to do that and how to install it. But I've tested this out with Preview 4 fully and it works just fine. And it's just like WebOS, you can swipe away the things you no longer need or resume them if you want to get back. But it's a handy little interface, one of my favorite features of WebOS, and you can check it out. Try it for yourself. Great things happening here with Cyanogen Mod 10 on the HP touchpad. Please subscribe to see the latest updates in the future. Thank you for watching.